and a very warm welcome to you. This is Afternoon Express and listen, I'm here to tell you to be calm and cool because Back to School is here finally on Afternoon Express on this masterclass with me, Balisa Tembe. We've got producer and cookbook author, Marinda Engelbreth, break alongside Chef Sebastian Newman in the kitchen to help us whip up some chicken and egg waffles, a colorful rainbow pasta salad and a fun to make tuna cakes. Get your lunch boxes ready, Mzansi, and head over to our website for all of today's recipes. Now joining us in studio this evening is well-known producer and cookbook author, Marinda Engelbrecht. From publishing two cookbooks so far, and producing Afrikaans children's theater. She is a household name in the industry. She's here to chat about her upcoming new cookbook, or rather I should say, it's already here, baby. Is, so we say, here. welcome home. And of course, we're also finding out how she comes up with all of her interesting experiments. Welcome to The Love. Thank you, thank you very much. Now girl, before we get back, get to your two babies that yes. are here in The this Love. This one looks like Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love them. And of course, the new one that you just came, uh, brought to life. Yeah. I want to touch base with just how it all started. How did you get your start and your love and your passion for food and theatre? Well, I grew up on a farm. And cooking is like breathing on a farm. Mm. And you know, Afrikaans women, they can cook. <laughs> And my mother encouraged us to help her with the cooking. So we, we've tasted, we smelled, and we were never allowed to tell her we don't want to taste. They take no nonsense. You taste, and if you don't like it, that's all right, but you first have to taste. We will be sitting around the table, still eating, and then she will already be planning the next meal. Oh, wow. So it is really to a spot. I think I have gravy in my veins. I don't think I have blood in my veins. So yes, I grew up in a house where a mother cooked, and I think this, that's where I got my love for food. Love yes. for food, I love that. And right now, you are currently based and operating off the West Coast with yes. your husband, and I believe that that's where you get all of your inspiration for your blogs. I mean, tell us more about that. I stay in a beautiful little dorpy in the West Coast called Azerfontein. And when I work away and I come home and I see the sea and the white beaches, it sort of calms me and I can experiment with new recipes mm -hmm. and embrace the old ones. But I started the blog because my children, like your age, yeah. they keep on phoning me and ask me about, Mother, how do I make this? How do I make this? Yeah. And then I decided I have to write it down because I cook from the heart and the gut, you know? Mm -hmm. A little bit of this, a little bit of this. And then my poor husband had to stand right next to me and when I come with a little bit of that, he said, stop, I want to weigh it or I have to measure it. And then I wrote everything down. Mm -hmm. And then their friends started to ask for recipes. And then there was a block. I love that. Mm -hmm. and it's so interesting to see, clearly all of us kids are the same. We all just go running back to mommy's yes. goodies, mommy's go-tos, the things that just remind us of home when yes. we are now in our own new established homes. Yes. And this is also now, let's usher in these two books. I mean, you've got Miranda Sekoska, yeah. uh, so Koskas. Koskas. Did, I, did I say that correctly? Yes. You yes. Okay, <laughs> hey, this is the real test. And Miranda Sekinder Kombes. Yes, wonderful. See, I... I stopped taking Afrikaans at grade nine, so this was a real yeah. test for me. Okay, so but you, you have, have to read the rest as well. Met Chef Sout and Professor Pretzel. Girl, I do not want to trend for the wrong reasons <laughs> on Afternoon Express. I'm going to keep it to English and Zulu. But on your side, I mean, you do now have these two cookbooks, and now you also have introduced the third. Tell us all about it. Uh, uh, these two cookbooks are produced in one year. Wow. So I really worked hard last year to get them on the shelves. I'm busy with the third one, but I'm going to keep that one close to my heart. But I am a teacher or I was a teacher. And I do a lot of educational activity books. And at this moment, I'm working on an educational activity book for Zeiss International mm. about eye care for children. So I love writing. I, it, it's like making food, you know. Writing is also something that's creative. Yeah. And you can let your mind go and just enjoy it. Mm, another creative outlet that you're just in love with. And I have to just echo those same sentiments. I'm a thespian. Yeah. I study drama, I study 
need the theatre. And that's what you've done. You have produced throughout the years yes. many Afrikaans children's theatre. Not only Afrikaans, yeah. English as well. I produce every year um, during August. Mm. I do the Keeper in English, Flue in Afrikaans show. It's for children. And in three weeks, 15,000 children sure. attend the show. And we are doing it now for 20 years already. And in this 20 years, I added up 650,000 children visited the theatre. And then Doha, a man from Doha in Qatar, found out that I was doing this. And they also read the series because it's an international reading series. Mm. And then I went to Doha. For six times a year, I go there with my classic children theatre like Red Riding Hood oh. and Alice in Wonderland. But now, COVID, mm. it's done. So we don't, we're not going to see you continuing to produce? Of course, of course. Okay. I hope for August we can do Keep Her again. Stunning, stunning, yes. stunning. OK, we have to keep these conversations going because another thing, you are just such a multifaceted woman who's got so many interests and one that is very much got my uh, brain cells tingling yes. are your experiments. I mean, later on in the show, we're yeah. going to have an opportunity to test out one of your fun kitchen experiments. Yeah. But what got you just loving to try new things? Uh, because I, I'm a teacher, yeah. I just want to show children that you can have signs all over the world. It can be in the kitchen, it can be in the bathroom, and it, you can do experiments with uh, stuff that is in your house. Yeah. And that's why we make edible slime, we make a smarty rainbow. <laughs> so there's a lot of that and there's a chapter in with only experiments with stuff that you have in your kitchen. Okay, so it seems as if these two books are more than just cookbooks. They're just so much more. They're educational, they're entertainment. They are. And we are giving one of our lucky viewers an opportunity to walk away with one copy of both of these books. Yes. What else can they look forward to? It's easy cooking. It is accessible cooking. Mm. It is very lacquer cooking <laughs> and with stuff that is in your house. I love that. Yeah. Well, I'm very much looking forward to not only diving into the recipes in this cookbook, but getting you in the kitchen as well. We've got your apron on standby and we've also got our darling guest chef, Sebastian Newman, who's gonna teach us every single thing we need to know to get all those school lunch boxes ready this year. Sister, we're gonna cook now. You ready for it? I'm ready for you. I love that. <laughs> Now, Miranda Sekoskas and Miranda Sekinderkombes are must-haves, and you could win yourself a copy of both books. If you want to try any of these recipes, all you need to do is answer this question. What recipe would you make using a science experiment? That's a tough one. Share your answers on the Afternoon Express Facebook page. T's and C's do apply and can be found on afternoonexpress.co.za. This competition closes at 12 p.m. on Monday. Monday, the 24th of January 2022. Let's get in the kitchen. Let's get in the kitchen. <laughs> Whilst Marinda is getting ready, welcome back to the loft. Thank Sebastian. you, thank you. Happy New Year compliments. Do we still say compliments? I don't know if it's. Mm, we do. Okay. Do we? Do we? When do we stop saying that? I think end of Jan. Then that we, end we're gonna, of Jan. We're going to make the cutting date. No, when you take down the Christmas tree, <laughs> then you can stop. I shouldn't talk sensitive <laughs> subject. My Christmas tree is still up, but let's get cooking. Winifred C. Um, Martian Wound said, school bells are ringing loud and clear. Vacation's over. School is here. And just like that, it's back to school and work reality and the juggles which come with it. One juggle which oh, are just we want to simplify is dinner. We'll be showing you how to make this easy and delicious meal, which is perfect for a busy mom. Simple Simply chicken mini egg waffles. Sebastian, tell us more. Doesn't it just sound amazing? Mm. It's amazing. It's so easy to make and it looks amazing. So the kids are going to want to have in. all of it. So let's get straight into it, buddy. So I've got some eggs over here, about six to eight eggs that we got here. Then we've got um, peppers, mm. red peppers. Because um, kids, when the kids are going to eat it, you want the colors in there, you know? Yeah. Then we've got some peas going. We've got some. Um, Corn. Yeah, I love sweet corn. <laughs> Almost forgot what that was. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Miranda. Um, I'm going to pop in some chives as well. And then always important to season 
mm. with some salt and pepper. Mm. And then we're just going to give this a young whisk. Stunning. And whilst you whisk that up, I mean, Marinda, I've already seen that you've taken your beautiful yes. Simply Chicken fingers and you've just halved them. Yes, I just halved them. Okay, it's, it's, it's just that like enough? that. I think let's add that's, more. You, you can never have enough. Is it ever enough? It's is never it enough. <laughs> I mean, Simply Chicken products are made with real chicken, which is something that is so key to remember in the family household. And Simply Chicken products contain no pork and no added MSG. They're quick and easy to prepare and can also be air fried here for the convenience. And you know, everybody's all about the air fryers these days. Yes. And you know, the kids are going to be like, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, and they want that meal now. Yeah. So you're going to. Easy, easy. Pop it in the air fryer very, very quickly. So what I did was just pop the halved um, Simply Chicken fingers onto our waffle iron that's been heated up. And then, simply... Time to pour in the egg mixture. I want to see this. I want to make this for my grandchildren. Yeah, Definitely. I mean, Marinda, the... you do have grandchildren, you've got kids, yes. and it just seems like the whole community there in Ezefrontein mm -hmm. cannot get off enough of your cooking. When it comes to beginning of the year juggles, yes. juggling uh, the household, juggling the kids, juggling yourself, how have you been able to cope and what <sighs> advice would you give to other mothers and grandmothers? It's always difficult to get back into the routine yeah. of working and having kids going to school so what I tell my children now because I don't have children in my house anymore is <laughs> it's all about planning yeah. and control I tell them to sit on a Saturday afternoon and work out the menu for the week mm. go to the shop buy everything so at least you know what is on the menu tonight no running around after work yes, right the second thing is put all the school clothes on the bed the night before ah. <laughs> so no looking for a sock tomorrow morning and the last thing is make me time because mm -hmm. if you don't have me time you set the bar of what the atmosphere is in the house yeah. and if you are flustered and all over the place your family will also be flustered and yeah. all over the place so i say Plan and take control. I love that. And not only are we planning this year, not only are we taking control this year, but we're making dinners simple. Yes. And I mean, Sebastian, I this came together in two seconds. So easy. And then all we did was, so we're just waiting for these ones to finish cooking, which I think they're almost there, but we have some over here. And all I did was stop it with some sour cream, some extra chives, which I threw all of them into our mm. bathroom, which is all good. And then season it and... and supper done in how long was that? And are children allowed to eat tomato sauce for that? Because mm. my children will put tomato sauce on. If it was me, you know me, mayonnaise. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's going to be mayonnaise. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, very yeah. delicious, very tasty, and oh, so simple. I mean, the festive season has come and gone. Did you enjoy it with your family, Bess? I did. Like, you know, lazy Bess. <laughs> <laughs> so all I did was chill, chill <laughs> so hard. I also moved in mm. the holiday, so that was a bit hectic. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. But it was just like, after the move, I was like, you know what? I'm a chill. Because when it's back to work, it's, it's back, back to the grind. It, is. it doesn't stop. It is. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have got Chef Bass and we've got Marinda throughout the entire show. So do not move a muscle because we've got so many more delicious, tasty recipes. Now, making the transition from vacation back to school and back to work may not be easy. So let's keep mealtime simple with Simply Chicken. Get your hands on these delicious recipes. Please do visit afternoonexpress.co.za. For more quick and easy recipes, Please follow at Simply Chicken ZA on Instagram. Mm. Mm. Now you know, I like, you know, I, I'm always here to enjoy, and that's what 2022 is all yeah, about. Yeah. And on social media, Marinda, Bass yeah. already knows this because yeah. he's always with us. We have got questions that we ask him, Zansi, yes. and at the end of the show, I'm going to get your answers. Okay, you're going to test me. I'm going to test you. <laughs> but it's so, so, uh, what you tell me is to focus now. Absolutely. I will now focus. is the time. I and will, this I is promise. the social media <laughs> question. I mean, and just like that, we are back to packing those school lunches. So what was that one childhood treat that you always looked forward to seeing okay. in your lunchbox? Use that hashtag okay. back in the day and use the hashtag Afternoon Express in all of your comments. Now, a bright and cheery lunchbox will always lift up your child's mood. So coming up, we're going to be filling up yours with a absolutely colourful and fresh rainbow pasta salad. Yum.
my favorite place in Mzansi, the Afternoon Express Kitchen. Now this colorful, fresh and delicious rainbow pasta salad is perfect for getting the kids into the kitchen to make their own lunchbox. Just add some veggies and Clover Elite's cheddar cheese and you'll have them smiling all the way to school. Now I'm already smiling because you've got some of my favorite elements. You've got the pasta, you've got the Clover Elite cheddar cheese. Just show us how to do it. So it's... then just going to take it... Can I show? It, you yes, are things. you sure? You, you don't want to come? No, you <laughs> <do> <laughs> um, You cook your, uh, your pasta according to what's on the packet, the okay. instructions on the packet. And then you can colour it any colour you would like to. I, uh, yellow, red, green. So I'm going to do that one. Will you do this one for me, please? Oh, I'm happy to. So We're you gonna... got the red, I got the blue. Y y yes, I have the red and you have the blue. And you know, you can also teach children about primary colours and mixing colours. So this is part of the educational part of the book. So I think I need two spoons to do that. Can you do... Do it with one spoon. I've got another one right here. Oh, wow, and that colour comes out almost it, immediately. It does, it does, it does. And you know, a tip mm. is uh, after you rinsed your pasta, immediately use the colouring because a little bit of water still in there yeah. helps it to, to colour beautifully. I mean, and a little bit goes a long it way. It does, it does. I, we literally put just the tip of a teaspoon within yeah. um, the colouring mixture, the food colourants, and look, it's coated the spaghetti thoroughly. And it can be rainbow pasta, but it can also be unicorn pasta. Yeah. My little granddaughter will say this is unicorn pasta. <laughs> I've also got a little niece who is just obsessed with yeah. unicorns. But Sebastian, it seems as if you're already well on your way there. I'm yeah. just doing my thing over here, Funny. So like you said, we're using the Clover Elite cheese today. We're using the cheddar cheese. Um, and what I'm doing is, thank you so much, Miranda. I'm going to start plating. Because, okay. again, this is so super simple, so the kids can get involved. And I think today, also in the kitchen, we're bringing out our inner child. Yes. We get yes. to play a little bit. Yes. Play with your food. I know they say don't play with food. But play with your this is the right kind <laughs> of playing with food. And no. when you do pair it with that elite quality, that elite taste of clover um, cheese, it just elevates it every it single time. And it's another colour. Yes. It's another colour. The orange. Yes. I mean, clover cheese is perfectly crafted due to its five-step crafting process that gives it that elite taste, that elite texture, and that elite quality. But, I mean, you can feel free to play. If you don't like cheese, uh, cheddar, you can go off and, and you can add any other cheeses that you prefer. So, all I'm going to do to finish this off first, Pally, I'm going to pop out cheese on there. And, you know, cheese. Who doesn't love oh, cheese? I what love, kid doesn't love cheese? I love cheese. And imagine putting this down in front of him, they're going to be like... Mind so excited. Blown. Mind blown. So you were saying earlier, Pali, you can test the colours. Yeah. So we're going to test your colours. <laughs> Red and... Oh, what a complimentary <laughs> colours and yes. what a... Yeah. Oh. Not complimentary, but just if I mix red and yellow. Orange. Liquor. Blue and red. Blue and red. Purple, purple. You get purple. Thank you for cheating. <laughs> cheating, you had some crib notes. You had some crib notes. <laughs> Okay, it is just that simple. So, Sebastian, you're basically saying not only do you get to play with just these four colours, but if you mix and match the... You can, the you together, can, you yes. Can. And you know the creativity, you, to be creative as a child. Yeah. Boom. What else do you need? I mean, Marinda, at the end of the day, we're making sure that every single South African child is well-fed yes. during the school day. Yes. How important is nutrition? I mean, you're a teacher. It, it is of extreme importance. And it's not necessarily expensive food yeah. that gives you the nutrition. You know, like I said, I grew up on a farm with all the veggies that's in season. So simple food like this, everybody has cheese in their house, you know, and... You can, you can eat that either hot or cold. Yeah, uh, mine is cold and I kind of like that. It is not because that you can pack for, uh, in a little jar and your child can take it to school and during break they can eat their unicorn mm. pasta. And imagine you coming to school, everybody is like, oh my God, I also want that. Yes, be like, yes. Be like the coolest kid ever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's no swapping lunch boxes here. No. Mm -mm. Now, if you don't want to swap out this recipe for anything else, simply head over to afternoonexpress.co.za. Clover cheese is for those who love life, where everything falls into place and melts away our cares, adding joy and stretching our imagination. Elite quality, elite taste, elite texture. Made with love by Clover. 
We're still very well on our way in the Afternoon Express kitchen because when we return, we're going to show you how to make tuna cakes that your kids will love putting together. And then later on, we'll also be trying out one of Mirinda's fun food experiments. back to Afternoon Express and it seems as if we're taking our little ones lunch boxes all over and right now it's time to visit the ocean. Yes and it's, it's looking really cool so I can't wait to put this recipe together. Well let's get it. Remind your child of the ocean with these cute as a button tuna cakes. Make it fun by giving the fish eyes, scales and even some pea bubbles. Then drip them in that delicious clover classic dairy snack dipping sauce for the perfect yummy bite. Now Miranda, it seems as if you've already started, yes, girl. Yes, I have. This is my mashed potatoes. This you can do if there's any leftover potatoes. Okay. Use it and make your fish cakes. This is my tuna. This is onion that I've chopped. Mayo. And you're just going to mix everything together. There's nothing difficult about this. Nice. And then flour. Breadcrumbs to bind everything. Keep it together. Mm. Little bit of parsley. Let me just put a little bit of oil in here because I'm going to fry them now. Okay. And Miranda, that leads me to my next question. Yes. I mean, it seems as if to get the perfect fish cake, um, I don't like my fish cakes dry. No. I, I like them tasty, no. flavorful, moist, yes. succulent. How can we get it right? You know, the moment you put in your potatoes and your onion mm. and the mayonnaise, it moist it. It's not that dry, dry, dry fish cake that I'm used to mm. when I was little. So you just mix them, everything together, and out of this bowl you will get eight. Now, if I was cooking with my grandchild, yeah. I will tell her, I will say yes, eight fish cakes. If I take two of them away, how many fish cakes will I have? And can you please help me and take this fish cake and cut it in half or in quarters. So then you start working immediately with um, maths. Maths. You know. Fractions. You're already, yes. yes. You're working in the fractions. You're working with that yeah. divide, yeah. multiply, yeah. carry yeah. over the one. Yeah. This is yeah. such a brilliant tool yeah. to remember. And also for all the moms out there, for all the older siblings out there, it's also easy to just, it's a nice way to get the baby's uh, brains going throughout yes. the day. Yes. But we don't want to tire them and we also want to make sure that they get that perfect bite. Bass, you promised me the perfect bite. I'm going to put that together for you, Polly. So while Miranda's making our fish cakes over there, I'm going to make the dressing. So like you said, a, the Clover Classic Dairy Snack dressing at the end just finishes it mm. off perfectly. So very easy to make it as well. So some sandwich spread over there in our bowl. And then to that, I know I missed it, but we're just going to add some of our Clover Classic Dairy. And that's your tartar sauce. Yes. Ah. 
ingredient yeah. starter sauce. It's, yeah. I mean, and, mix it together. and something that is also very special about this two ingredients mixture tartar snack is that it also has that clover classic mm. dairy snack. I mean, it is deliciously smooth and creamy dairy snack made according to clover's unique recipe. It's a source of 10 vitamins and it's available in the 100 gram six pack, 175 gram, 500 gram, or the one kg. It just gives that fresh end to what could be a very um, savory dish. Yeah. Yes. I'm excited for the next part because, like Are I said you? earlier, we're going to play in the kitchen today. Yes. And like you said, when Miranda was saying she had a grandchild there, they'd be doing the fractions, they're doing that. Yeah. And what's great is that at the end of that, there's a reward for them. Yes. Because they get to eat what they just made, right? <laughs> so what we're going to do is put our little fishies together. So we've got our tuna cake over there. You see you've got one over there. Yes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the scale. So we slice some cucumbers. So they get their veggies in as well. In that. Brilliant. Yeah. So essentially, how we decorate our fish cakes and creating the actual fish out of it, you can use any veggies any. that are at home. Yeah. So right now we're using cucumber, but I suppose you could use gherkins, you celery. Can. You can make a little uh, face out of it if you want to. You don't have to make a little fish. fish. You can use your creativity and you can do whatever you want to do. Okay. So we got over these are scales. I want to join you and make some on the make side. That. And then I'm going to do the little eye. So I'll do it this way so that it faces that way. And then we've got a little mouth. Oh, cute. So we've got a little cherry tomatoes to create the eyes and, and, and some, some peppers. peppers. And then we're going to just neatly place some the bubbles peas to make some little fish bubbles oh. going up there. How cute this is. And the kids will enjoy doing this. So, like, play with your food, but at the end, they must eat yeah. it as well. They must also <laughs> eat it. And also, I mean, for a child like me, myself, I struggled eating my entire life. I just wasn't a foodie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would eat uh, the bare minimum. And then my older brother, shout out to you, Sia, he would take the rest <laughs> and he said, yeah, the parents will never know. But I cannot imagine a kid resisting yeah. this. You know, the moment a child is making it him or herself, they tend to eat it, yeah. you know, because they are proud and they want to give it to their parents and they want to eat it because they made that dish. I like yeah. that. It gives them that sense of, like, I accomplished yes. something. Yeah. Like an independence because they yeah. got to cook their own meal. I love that. It's really that. cool, very, very cool. Okay, I'm almost Funny, done. Funny, fish coming along? My <laughs> fish is coming, but my fish looks upset. Why right. is my... My smile is not smiling. I'm going to save you there, I'm going to save you there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! There we go. I mean, this is quick, <laughs> simple, easy, and I'm pretty sure absolutely delicious. If I were to ask for just one last tip, trick, idea, something to remember when it comes to creating this, what would it be? What's that top tip that mothers need to remember when making fish cakes or tuna cakes? I will say, get the children involved from the very beginning so that they can they know that I've made it. Yeah. And also like we've done here, stack out everything mm. so they can play around with the tomatoes or the peppers or the uh, peas or whatever. Give, don't tell them what to do. Leave them mm. that they can do what they want to do. Allow them to empower themselves yes. in the yes. kitchen. Yes, that's true. Well, I am so here for it. Add that dipping sauce whilst I dip away as well. And if you want to get this recipe, simply head over to afternoonexpress.co.za. Mm -hmm. So, we've had classic fashion from Timby, classic cars, thanks, Chad, and we've seen classic hairstyles. And you, Michael? <gasps> classic. A classic range from Clover. Timeless taste. Made with love by Clover. Experience Red and Unlock Summer with Vodacom's Red plans and amazing giveaways. The first 1,000 to switch to Red this summer will enjoy a free one-night stay at any Protea Hotel by Marriott. Now, you know with the uh, Vodacom Red rewards that there are some amazing travel benefits. Now, if you do ask yourself, when you think of the Protea Marriott, what is your favorite? Well, personally, I find myself really, really missing Joburg this week. I need a trip up to Johannesburg and I'm already foreseeing myself chilling, kicking back, relaxing at that Protea Hotel in Melrose Arch. That's one of my 
favorite Protea Marriott to go sit back, enjoy, poolside, honey. And I know you see yourself doing exactly the same. But I did speak about incredible travel deals and incredible prizes up for grabs. So depending on your red plan, you can explore local and international destinations with discounts of up to 50% off on accommodation at the Marriott Hotel Group, up to 15% off Fly Safair and 10% off Intercape bus tickets and Get this, if you're an international bay like myself, you can get up to 50% off Emirates flights worldwide. Now I can already see so many friends and families thinking of Ukoko living all the way in Zimbabwe, or maybe perhaps you've got some family in the States or the UK. This is your opportunity. Grab those passports, tune in and link up with Vodacom, and who knows, you also could be enjoying some of these amazing deals. I'm also someone who loves South Africa. I love to explore my beautiful landscape. I also am dying for a trip to Limpompo. So guys, get out there, get involved, and who knows, you could also experience magic. Now experience red and unlock summer with these amazing deals from Vodacom this summer. Switch to red. Enjoy a free night stay at any Protea Hotel by Marriott this summer. Further together, Vodacom. Welcome back to the Loft Mzansi. Now, last year we created the most amazing dishes with the Thermomix TM6. From cheesecake and berry foam to lemonade and fruit bread, the Thermomix really does it all. It's like a second pair of hands in the kitchen and often referred to as the smartphone of the kitchen. So joining us today to tell us more about this great piece of kitchen equipment is Nicholas, the founder and director of Swiss Divertias. He's also, this is also rather the official distributor of the Thermomix in South Africa. Welcome to the lot, Nicholas. Thank you so much for having me, Polly. Now, a pleasure. this is a machine that I hold very dear to my heart. I think that from using it in the kitchen, I really see a huge gap in it in my own kitchen. I'm ready to purchase my own. But for any of our viewers who maybe this is the first time that they've ever heard of the Thermomix, or perhaps they've missed any of our segments from last year, would you mind just reminding us of what is the Thermomix, how does it work, and what can it do? 
Pali, that's a very, very big question yeah. because the Thermomix <laughs> holds so many different things. But to uh, try to break it down for you, a Thermomix is a smart connected uh, kitchen appliance all in one. So you have 13 modules and you have 20 um, modes which you can use. So as an example, for your bread, you can do kneading with the machine. So you can make your own perfect warm bread every day, it's, which is impressive. Yes. If you want to make your own yogurts, you ferment with this machine. That's another um, mode. And then what you have is more the general modes, like the grinding, the milling, mm. the chopping, the uh, uh, slow cooking, which is actually one of my favorite, which is new in the TM6. Yeah. It's slow cooking, so you actually can do your pulled pork, your pulled beef. Another new uh, function which we added to it is the um, sous vide, sous vide function, so you can actually um, make your salmon, make your beef very tender, your steak. Mm. So, and over and above, what I think is amazing, it's a bit like you said, your smartphone, but the smartphone of the kitchen. the kitchen. So we will always add new functions for you by doing automated upgrades. It's basically like your phone. Oh, okay. And, yeah. Wow, yeah, no, continue. Yeah. My mind is already just be getting blown. I cannot so believe so that. so much to give, yeah. yeah. And, and, and even better, once you do purchase it, you can just continue to make those upgrades. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And we say just, um, we wanna make cooking simple. We want people to be not afraid to be in the kitchen. And what we have for that is an app, which is called Cookie Doo. Cookie Doo um, hosts 65,000 recipes, 65,000 recipes. They are developed by Forwork, which is the mother company of our business, of our brand Thermomix. And they are developed especially for this Thermomix unit. And it should just ease everyone's mind in the kitchen and make them all look like a superstar. I, I like that. You know, as soon as you say superstar, you got my ears buzzing. Because that's what it's all about, especially when you're hosting friends and family. You kind of want to put your best foot forward when it comes to the Absolutely. Menu, and you want the food to be tasty. Now, something else that's so, so special about the Thermomix is that it recently celebrated its 50th anniversary. And of course, it's well known for its German ingenuity and that precision. You want to tell us a little bit more about the company behind the brand? Yeah, so um, in 1961, that's actually not 50 years ago, that's 60 years ago, the Forver Group, the company I alluded to before, which is still a family business, a German family business, which was founded in 1883, in 1961, as I said, they just launched a typical normal blender mixer. Mm. But in 1971, hence we're celebrating the 50 year anniversary, they started the Thermomix, let's call it mixer, which had a heating function. So all of a sudden, you could heat up your food with your blender mixer, which was an absolute novelty. Yeah. And since the 1971s, so or those five decades, every five to 10 years, Thermomix launches new innovation, new products, uh, not to the speed of the mobile phone companies. Luckily, we don't have to do that because we have very solid innovation, which continues to grow. And the TM6 is absolute fantastic product. Yeah. yeah. It definitely is, and it's so well worth it. I mean, something that I've also found out just through working in the culinary industry and having such amazing chefs on the show is that Australia are setting the benchmark, I think it's safe to say, when it comes to cooking and food. And I believe that the Thermo Mix is doing exceptionally well down under. So do you know how many homes have the Thermo Mix in its kitchen? So first, I can confirm they're doing phenomenally well. It's basically our vision to one day get there where they are. Um, what I cannot answer is the question <laughs> of how many households, but what I can answer is that Thermomix in Australia started in the year 2000. In the year 2020, they already sold over 500,000 units. Now... Ooh, my mind is blown. Those are crazy numbers. Yeah, now we're going more crazy. In, due to pandemic, people cooking more at home, people being not as easy to go to the restaurants, unfortunately, very unfortunately, because we all love that. Um, Thermomix in Australia sold daily 140 of those units. Everybody else has to do their own math, but it's a lot, a lot of units. And this morning I spoke to our head office, which is actually in Zurich, Switzerland, where I'm from. Yeah. And in our head office, they told me that during 2021, 
There was every 21 seconds, funny enough, a Thermomix unit sold worldwide. So since we're speaking, yeah, probably, <laughs> we are like at six, I don't know, six, eight units sold. Can Just you imagine? Just from the beginning of our conversation. Yeah. And six, eight people super happy, yeah, beginning of our conversation. And we can guarantee that those six to eight people are super happy because trust me, I've had my hands on that Thermomix. I'm eyeing it out. Hopefully, if I get on Nicholas's good side, he might throw me a bone, who knows? <laughs> But this is just super. We can talk about it. Yeah, we can talk about that later. We can talk about that later. But a little birdie also told me that there's a new function getting introduced within the Thermomix family. And I believe it's got something to do with this bad boy over here. I mean, what does this do? You're very well informed. <laughs> um, so what you have in your hand is called a wave peeler. And the wave peeler is a product that we decided, Swiss Diversitas, to import as well now. Ah. It will be available from March this year. And what does the wave peeler do? We mm. tested it in our conference last October, so it's brand new. We had a conference in Dubai. We all tested it with different potatoes from all over the world, and it works beautifully. So what does it do? It peels your potatoes. Can you believe it? Yes! Can I tell you something? Life is now so much better. It's completely changed you know you know us in our African households and the African families whenever there's any we call it um imbi. so it could be a funeral it could be a birthday it could be a graduation it could be a Thanksgiving all the ladies all the people we gather in the kitchen we peel these potatoes and honey I can be in that kitchen for like four or five hours so this basically we just have a thermo mix and it can take Bali's place right absolutely and I think let's be honest who enjoys peeling potatoes? Yeah, no, You not have to me. find someone. And I have a similar, similar um, memory, almost like a little bit traumatized, <laughs> when we were Boy Scouts, always the ones who did not behave so well in the Boy Scout camps had to go peel the potatoes. You see? So this is a life-saving tool, and we're very excited about it. I wonder if I could pack a thermo mix when I'm out at camp. Okay, well, we'll get back to all of that. Yeah. This leads me quite perfectly to my very next question. Now, when I look at the thermo mix, I get intimidated. It looks like, yeah, a handy-dandy kitchen utensil, but is it for the home cook, or is it for a professional chef? How easy is it to use? So, um, to answer your question, I mean, it's a complex product it offers so many things but um, it is for the home sh home cook it's mm -hmm. for your private use what we notice is all over the world we have a lot a lot of chefs and a lot of lot of restaurants I would believe that we all eat eaten in a restaurant where we had a, something made out of the thermomix so what they do in the restaurants the chefs they use it for sauces for soups for your risottos wow. um, so it is used privately and it is is used professionally but we're not selling this product online. So yes, that's my next question. Online in stores, how do we get our hands on a Thermomix? So um, we are going the very traditional old school way, and which is, yes, you have to go online. Okay. You go on our website, and then you book an appointment with one of our passionate consultants. Mm -hmm. They will make contact with you. They come to your house. You're going to cook. You're going to laugh. You have fun. It's an emotional product. It's cooking. It's eating. And um, that's how you buy it. We have another option, uh, which is we have cooking classes. We have cooking classes at our show kitchen in uh, Bluebird Shopping Centre in Johannesburg. Oh, yes. Burnham, Johannesburg, just uh, next to Melrose Arch. Yeah, Melrose Arch, yeah. Yeah, uh, that's where I spend my days, actually. And then we can also, you can purchase them at our cooking classes at Silverwood School of Cookery in Rondebosch, Cape Town. Stunning. Well, yeah. it seems as if the sky is the limit when it comes to Thermomix and all of its capabilities in the kitchen and in our homes. Thank you so much, Nicholas, Thank for you spending very much. your time. It was such a pleasure. And educating us on something that is surely going to transform your household. Now, for more information about the Thermomix, or if you want to become a Thermomix consultant, please do head over to thermomix.co.za. Now, let's head over to the kitchen because I believe Chef Bass and Miranda have something really special waiting for me. Thanks, but ba Thanks, Bali. Miranda, we are still going to be playing in the kitchen. With are, you enjoying yourself? are you enjoying yourself so far? Yes. Are you enjoying I my am. party? I am. Your party <laughs> is a whole vibe. So we, while Bali comes here, we're going to be doing an experiment. Yes. And, you know, it's here we, we teach them about for solids, Bali. Yes. Liquids and gases with stuff that is in our 
cupboards. I mean, I see balloons. I believe you guys are having a party without me. So let's get into it. I mean, isn't it interesting how we always say it's not rocket science? Well, today we've decided to bring back some back to school cheer in your kitchen with a science experiment that uses simple home ingredients and utensils. And guess what? It just includes an empty bottle and a balloon. Tell me more, Marinda. Well, what we are going to do is you've got to share, children, on that side. <laughs> and learn to share. Okay, we put in some, some bicarb in your balloon. Do I put the whole... This looks like a lot all of bicarb. Of that, all of that. And here's vinegar at the bottom. Okay, and I'm going to test you now. Okay. Be ready. <laughs> okay. Right. Oh, yeah, that is, that is definitely can vinegar. You, can you smell? Now, very carefully, you pull the balloon over the bottle, at the neck of the bottle, but keep the balloon hanging to the side. Right? Are you there, children? Yes, we didn't you tell me there's an exam at the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> right, are you there, children? I'm there. Right. Now Thank you see. take your balloon and you tilt the bicarb in. <gasps> your... Look here, look what's happening. Can you oh, see? It's happened already! <laughs> your... <laughs> I'm just seeing it's going to blow off. Marinda! That's amazing. What witchcraft is this? <laughs> this is amazing! It is amazing. It is amazing. Now, tell me, you've been at school recently. Okay. What do you think <laughs> happened here? Well, I didn't take science, but what I do believe but happened it's not was... rocket science, remember. <laughs> I've got you, Miranda. What I do believe happened is that the bicarb... Yes. ...reacted with the vinegar. Yes. Gave us some carbon, carbon dioxide. That's right. And with gases, gases rise, right? Yes. Which inflated our balloon over here. Okay. Distinction. Right, distinction. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. Absolutely. I believe the chemical reaction that yeah. does happen when yeah. bicarb gets, uh, I guess, mixed and intertwangled with the actual vinegar, it releases that carbon dioxide child. So basically, there's no more need to... <laughs> no, no. For the next children's party, you do this. <laughs> Don't blow the balloons. Do this. <laughs> what a fun and interesting way to learn. Oh, look at that. We can even... Take it off and tie yeah. it. Party sorted. I Abracadabra, <laughs> there you have it, folks. And you know, this is magic. And I always say, if you believe in magic, your dreams come true. Aww. Yeah. Well, on that beautiful note, head over to afternoonexpress.co.za to get everything you need to know about creating this magic in your kitchen. <laughs> Our pharmacies are on the front line of healthcare. This is Pharmacy of the Week. The ethos of Essential Health Pharmacy Group is one of service, friendliness, um, a comprehensive offering in the retail market. And we are here for the community it itself. Initially, with the uh, pandemic breaking in, in 2020, went through a bit of an emotional uh, beginning, but soon we realized that being in a team like this, it's, it's so easy to counter something like the p pandemic. To me, bravery is something that happens when you don't think uh, of fear. And the community was filled with fear to a large extent. At that point, we, we had to gather ourselves and present what we've always done as a community pharmacy and we stepped up to the plate. Pharmacy of the Week, proudly brought to you by Adcock Ingram OTC, sponsors of Brave.
Afternoon Express. And you know, the entire show, I've had one song stuck in my head. Back to school, back to reality. Absolutely. <laughs> now it's time to add something sweet to those lunch boxes and bring a smile on your little one's face. Try these gorgeous, colorful cupcakes made with Clover Classic Fat Spread, which is also a source of 10 vitamins. Let's get straight into it. Flour. Uh-huh. <laughs> Baking powder, salt, and in here I already beat my um, sugar and my eggs, and I need you to put some spread in here, please. Okay, I'm going to put a very generous serving. Do you think about two? Uh, I, think two. I think two. I think about do well. two. Yes. I mean, I've already mentioned that this is a gorgeous source of ten vitamins, but also clover fat spread is um, an absolute ideal everyday spread to use. You can spread it, you can bake it, use it your way because your family will love the taste of clover fat spread in any and on any occasion. And it mixes quite easily. Look mm. here. It's not lumpy, lumpy, lumpy. Really? Okay. And what are you doing on that Over side? Over here, I've got our icing sorted. So, also super easy, Pali. Ah. So, all I had in the bowl of here was icing sugar. Okay. And to that, I added water. But I just added the water very gradually. Because you obviously don't want to add too much and then mm. you're left with soup. Okay. <laughs> icing soup, yes. Icing soup, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, it's sugar. But we're not looking for that <laughs> in this recipe. Yeah. And I mean, Sebastian, mm. at the end of the day, you are a pastry chef, King. Yes! I knew you were going to come with us. <laughs> So I'm going to leave the about. kitchen now. No, no. <laughs> we, need, we need all hands on deck. Yes. Yeah. So much so that we can even get the little kids involved. Uh, exactly. Come, Pali. Okay, I'm working. <laughs> Come. Right. So this mixture has already been quite Just thoroughly put thirds. together. Just two thirds full. You know, on Monday, I actually made myself um, banana and coffee muffins that were absolutely divine. However, you can tell that I'm not much of a, a baker. Why? I, I filled all my containers at different levels. So now when it started rising, you had like a daddy cupcake, a mommy <laughs> cupcake, and then you had some twin baby cupcakes. The whole so family. The whole family was there <laughs> and it made it so difficult to realize is is everything cooked all the way through mm -hmm. so it is important to kind of determine and yes have a scoop even an ice cream scoop you know and then you know it will be exactly the same okay. funny but i feel like you're being a little bit modest i saw that muffins <laughs> and they looked great uh -huh. they looked great i think and it's just and what did they taste like they tasted delicious now what's however your i've got a question they tasted yes? delicious i loved it um and i don't have a sweet tooth so they were the perfect amount and perfect level of sweetness for me yes. however i saw on the recipe it needed me to add bicarb and baking powder is there a difference what's the difference and is it okay to add both or should i what what, what you yeah. you can add both many a time a recipe will ask for both but they are both uh, rising agents agents okay. yes okay so the one thank you i can say is tell, tell. Tell. come come the come, the chef come the knowledgeable one. so the wine reacts when you mix it into the batter so you saw with the bacar when we did the experiment yeah. over there when we yeah. added the liquid to it it reacts there already whereas the baking powder reacts in the oven when you oh. bake. Yeah. So it's a double, double raising agent yeah. action that you've got going. And is that what we want? It's what we Can want. I put this you want the oven. rise. Nobody wants a flat cake. Yeah, no one wants a flat <laughs> cake. But funny enough, in this instance, we do want them kind of flat because we're going to decorate. Yes. But before we get into the decorating part, how long does that need to go in the oven and uh, what temperature? Oh, well, I will say about 20 minutes, okay. 180. Okay. 15 to 20 minutes because it differ from oven to oven. Just check it, you know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah another, another thing that I love testing with as well. Just let's go and enjoy and, and keep. You go ahead. Decorating. I'm the teacher. I will. I will, okay. I will, I will, I will, I will uh, <laughs> judge back. at the end. Oh. Um, and you know something for me that's so so special about this is that you know at the end of the day kids do love a sweet treat, but they mm -hmm. also like to get involved in the kitchen. And again, from the top of the show, we've only given you recipes to get the kids involved. It's some things that are safe, that are easy, but that are absolutely delicious. You know, working with your child or your grandchild, it's bonding time. Mm. It's time that you spend with that child at that moment. Yeah. And I always say it doesn't matter whether your child is intelligent, not intelligent, you know, whatever. If you cook in the kitchen, yeah. everybody's the same. There's skills for everyone. Yeah. And if you yeah. would like to get your hands on this recipe, please do head over to afternoonexpress.co.za. Can I help you with one to decorate it? Yes. Come. 
Are you going to get, let me show you, you, you can make a butterfly with this. Oh yeah, let's do that. And in the same time, let's call over Nicholas. Yeah. Um, Nicholas, come join us, sir. Um, and whilst we do that, yeah. Hello, um, he'll be back just now. So, we've had classic fashion from Timby, classic cars, thanks, Chad, and we've seen classic hairstyles. And you, Michael? <gasps> classic. A classic range from Clover. Timeless taste. Made with love by Clover. Nicholas, do you have a sweet tooth? Absolutely. Okay, well, Switzerland, what do you want? Everyone! <laughs> Chocolate. Switzerland La and chocolate. Land of chocolate. Yes. I love that. Well, dive in. Have a cupcake. Yes. I would like to Which one to go for? You can take any one. The smartest one. There we go. The smartest one with smarties. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Sebastian, Nicholas, thank and Marinda. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you, Mzanti, for tuning in. Now, with snacks like these, the lunchbox is guaranteed to come back home completely empty. If you need revision on these recipes, do your homework and catch up on our repeats on Saturday morning at 8.30 a.m. And then be sure to catch us again next Tuesday and Thursday as we share hacks that will keep you back in the work can groove but until then Mzansi City good night stay safe and happy eating goodbye Bye. goodbye <laughs> Life's what you make it, however you choose to shake, bake, and celebrate it. Here's to a great 2022, made with love by Clover. Another feel-good production.